48 days until the tracking station upgrade. I don't think we can get another thing built by then. Maybe something small. This one's a 15.5 degree inclination. That's not too bad. That's not like 2.7. We need money. So I might as well pick this up. The, our existing rocket that we just used can probably do it. Mars flyby, Venus flyby, and then geostationary orbit. I mean, we just did inclination below 3, it's just boosting it up to a much higher altitude, but that should be doable. That'll help out our communication situation too, as long as we have the right antennae on. Okay, I guess we're launching a bunch of commsats this time. They're not gonna be any in any particularly useful orbits. Uh, maybe they're geostationary would be fine, but maybe they'll end up helping out somehow. Okay, so this is the one we just launched, and so the 15.5 degree inclination should be doable with it without any problems. Let's just quickly use it and handle that. I think with the Delta V it has, it should get to geostationary orbit just fine as well. So, no modifications. Serenity 2. Let's... Oh, but, 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 to make it an effective commsat, maybe we should have more transmit power. Maybe we should put the the little commutron back on. It's a lot more powerful. But it does cut down our Delta V. For the lower one, that's fine. For the upper one, we might just need more power. Let's see. Um, let's say there's another one of these and it wants to communicate with it. How far can this communicate with it? Oh, well, that's not too bad. So two of these put together. Oh yeah. Okay, 50,000 is too much. So two in geosynchronous orbit wouldn't work. But one at low orbit can communicate to one with, at geosync pretty well. Maybe we can boost that up a little bit. Or even 60. Okay, we'll take this 34 decibel milliwatts. But we're not going to just geosync with this one. This one is just going to the lower orbit at 15.5 degrees first. But we'll just build another one and that one will go to geosynchronous orbit. Okay, the E is for the successful re-entry, which we haven't gotten yet. We'll deprioritize that temporarily. Currently in the game, it is 2002, January 8th. Okay, SAS on. Oh, right, no SAS on this version. Throttle up, ignition, and launch. That might be wrong that it's okay to launch at this time, come to think of it. We'll see. Okay, staging. Okay, fairings. Okay, probably shouldn't have been turning right there, but alright. They did put a little bit of dirt on these tanks, apparently. At least this texture. It is a legacy texture. The recolor UI ones are a little bit too flat. Not quite as nicely detailed as the legacy ones. Okay, so we are here. It says our descending node is there, so we'll boost out from that. Same height, different inclination. Okay, ignition. Okay, that should be close enough, judging from last time. Okay, well, let's try that. 
Uh oh. Oh, that's the battery that got messed up. All right. Ignition. Oh, this is correcting faster than I thought. Okay, shut down. Okay, lifting the periapsis up at the same time as I'm changing the inclination here, still with the ether engine. Oh, that's the end of the ether engine. Okay, separation and ignition. We're ending up lifting the apoapsis higher, so let me just stop that for now. We'll fix the apoapsis and periapsis later. Well, that's getting to be as much as I can correct it here. Well, technically we could shove it some more, but maybe that's already good enough. Well, actually, as long as we can shove it over to there, the ascending node, then when we boost up from the ascending node to match the periapsis... Okay, well, that, that, that's zero. I'll be happy with zero. Okay, we're communicating through Australia, prograde. Yeah. Okay, I think if we just lift our orbit up, they'll be okay. Okay, okay, it wants stability. All right, stop, stop, stop. Okay, maintaining stability. Okay, we've got another satellite. Let's get that geostationary orbit one. Our tracking station will be done by then. Gosh, time warp seems really fast suddenly. Didn't it? Okay. Okay, it doesn't have a little marker for the geostationary orbit. It's just any geostationary orbit. It doesn't care. Okay. We don't have to be above a certain location or anything, I don't think. Yeah, it doesn't care about that. All right, throttle up. This still doesn't have SAS ignition. And launch. Okay, we are past the speed of sound. Our very familiar rocket doing its thing. RP-1 does a whole lot of stuff to try and force you to just use the same rocket over and over and over again and I don't know why that's even necessary because if it's a good rocket I end up using it over and over and over again without all the you know all the business with the tooling and all that. I don't need to be forced I don't need an economic incentive to use the same rocket over and over and over again. On the flip side, since it's a Kerbal Space Program, if if it's not a good rocket, I'd like to change it. If they build a new launch vehicle for each mission, it's because they don't they haven't settled on a good design. They need to be able to do that. So this gives you the freedom to do that because maybe the stock people don't know what the best rocket would be. Okay, staging. Okay, fairings. But, I mean, tooling is a realistic thing. It could just be an optional thing. I mean, there are a lot of things that in RP-1, it'd be nice, it's nice to have extra realism, but maybe it should be optional realism. It's like it should be a difficulty setting in the menu. Say, you know, you can turn that system off if you don't want to deal with tooling. And then we could have recommendations for the people coming in from stock. Hey, just for now, don't use these more complicated things until you're used to real solar system. I have a, I've tailored this to casual players, this RP2000. I don't have all those complicated systems. It's still difficult for me because the money situation is tight. It's just a matter of I'm not getting paid that much for the missions because I set the difficulty too hard. And because I set the difficulty to hard, I have to watch my budget. Okay, and mission. Okay, that's orbit. 
Now we need to get to the equator and then boost up. Now we have a tracking station thing. We can't plot our maneuvers, but at least it's... Uh, I really should get all my mech jump things, but at least I should be able to see my coordinates. And I'm going to wait until we're over the equator and then boost up. Or close, anyway. We do need some time to actually do the burn. Orbit prograde, RCS. Okay, ignition. To 35,783 kilometers. It says above 3, 35,700, but... Okay, uh, let's just cut that and switch and continue. How's comms? Well, it's okay for a little bit, but I don't think we're going to get to 35,000 kilometers before we lose communication, so just going to cut that and we're going to come around again. Okay, we should be communicating with Quito. All right, ignition. Okay, let's just puff a little bit. Okay, that's close enough. On we go. Okay, we need to go south, but we also need to boost our orbit up. Okay, ignition. Well, I can't really see my inclination like this, so... No, oh, I guess we could hear. But uh, I should just get orbital info. Now that says I've got 900 even though I've got 2000. Oh! Uh-oh. I actually used all the fuel? Uh-oh. I thought we were doing quite well. Oh boy. I guess we didn't have enough fuel to do it. Uh, m maybe I just need to wait until we plot stuff. It's still in a usable orbit for comms. We are communicating with stuff there. But it looks like it was not in a very good orbit. I mean, it didn't have enough fuel. Hmm. I thought we had enough Delta V to do this. But I guess the correction up here was not accurate enough. We'll probably have to... Well, we'll wait until we can do maneuver nodes for this geosynchronous orbit satellite. Uh, so... A shock. Yeah, we'll have to wait until mission control unlocks in 83 days. But I think next we should try to go to the moon again, this time to smack into it. Now that we have the tracking station upgrade... Okay, so... We still have to do successful re-entry, but let me try the lunar impactor first. Gives us 13 science, too. Oh, maybe I should combine the lun this lunar flyby with the lunar impactor. That would be better. That'll automatically happen when we do the impactor anyway. Okay, we already have this mission ready to go. We'll see if that works. Yeah, thinking about it, I mean, we had 2,000 meters per second in that stage for the apoapsis burn, and normally that only takes 1,400 for the inclination correction and boost up. So, I don't know, I did that really horribly, or maybe there was a message about the engine that I missed where it lost efficiency or something? I don't know. Um, it seemed weird to me. But anyway, for now we are going to continue with a mission to the moon, which we have rolled out. And this is to impact the moon, but it will also satisfy a lunar flyby contract, hopefully. So, let's go. Can you target the moon these days?
Now that I've unlocked the tracking station, yes we can! Okay, so no more mystery. I'm just gonna start configuring my windows here. I could import them from some other place, but let me just go ahead and go through it. Overlay mode. Oh, that's over info. Let me do this first. Compact doesn't work anymore for some reason. Okay, I think that'll be fine for now. We could probably have the surface info as well. If only for the biome. The biome is helpful. Alright, all set. Okay, well anyway, uh, we're going to make sure our relative inclination with respect to the moon is nice and low. Okay, that's good enough for me. Throttle up. SAS is on. Okay, SAS is not on. Uh, ignition. And launch. The Reaver has been suspiciously reliable. Ignition failure rate's only 0 0.62 though. But still. Not used to this kind of thing when we've got some sort of test flight slash test light thing going. We are past the speed of sound on this nighttime launch. I've tried to avoid nighttime launches so far, but this one had to be a nighttime launch. Past 1000 meters per second, looking good. It's nice having information. Okay, separation and ignition. This engine too has been quite reliable. Bearings. Oh, I wanted a stage time with those things. Yep, definitely nice not having to eyeball the trip to the moon. Of course, that's only the inclination part. As far as trying to hit the moon, we're still going to eyeball it. I can't make a maneuver yet. But with the inclination being alright, it's easy as long as we've got communications in the right spot. So, hopefully we'll have communications in the right spot. Okay, staging. Okay, we'll cut it there. I didn't keep the relative inclination that low, but it's you know, still way better than it's been for all our missions so far. So it's okay. And we're going to try and smack into the moon. Let's go. Mm, uh, that, that line's going to get stretched. And we're over the Indian Ocean with nothing else here. I think I'm going to wait in orbit here. So we do have boil off. Uh, maybe this isn't too bad. It'll take us a little bit longer, but maybe we can go now. Okay, let me go. Okay, so over Australia we're boosting up. We'll have to over boost. And come back in, probably. Just a little bit. I might as well let use up the RCS propellant here. And go. We're getting a little bit far away from periapsis. I think I'll cut here and wait one orbit. We are on the hypergolics after all. So, no boil off. Also, this actually gives the moon some time to catch up. I would prefer that a little bit. Maybe we should wait a few orbits. We'll actually wait a clean day and then wait until we're right above Australia again. Oh, a uh, battery short circuit. Well, okay, we, we probably shouldn't wait too long. Because ultimately we're going to have 
issues. Okay. Now continuing the burn. Jetting along here. Well, I've been taking a very wide view. Let's make sure comms are okay. Delta V seems tighter. I swear. I swear. It seems tighter than I was expecting. This long 100 Newton engine stage. Yes, it always gets me. Uh, it seems like we're short this time. It made it previously. I'm not happy. Okay, fine. We need to try that again, but maybe we should build a bigger rocket. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's time for a bigger rocket. Something more decisive. 